We got some good news, boys and girls. Good news, second COVID test came back negative. That being said, it means the first one was a false positive. Now we have to get one more negative test and then I can go back to school. And everything will be all good and back to normal. It's been a real pain in the butt, but I'm, I'm glad that we are free now. I can actually go out into the world. Which means we do have a lot of stuff to do today. Of course, all of it's gonna involve the Mustang because that's what I've had and it's been the daily driver for like a week, which is, been interesting and awesome at the same time. Yeah, she wasn't very happy this morning. What can you do? But it is the cleanest that she's been since I've had her. I gave her a deep clean yesterday, kinda. Washed her down before it started raining. Anyway, it's all clean. Wheels are all shiny. We're good. I think today we also need to tear in to this bad boy right here, kind of see what we're doing. So, I may or may not be ordering cams today. Yeah. I'm trying to be nice this morning. It's still, it's not really early. It's kind of early. It's like a, a gloomy day, so it seems like I should be not loud. Also, this road right by the house is one of the roughest roads ever. I've bottomed out on it, which is great because it keeps me from speeding, but at the same time, I feel like I'm playing whack-a-mole with my car. So third test is done. I'm kind of worried about this one because I didn't, I didn't think they did it very well. I didn't really get much, so two days. Like 24 hours, 48 hours, we should know. I'm praying. Now we're headed up, good old Colvin Automotive. Why? Just cause, or Sean works there. Go bother people. Teslas are getting out of control, guys. Their license plate is non-gas. How does every Tesla have a vanity plate? Every single one, it's always about gas. I need to make my Mustang one all the gas. So there's like three Mustangs here that I really would like to trade mine for. They're all like older ones, Mach ones. They're really sweet. Unfortunately, that's not going to happen, but there's some really cool cars here. The Bel Air, Mercury. It's definitely a Pontiac. Disregard that. Here we go, boys. Sounds good. She is some kind of loud, boys. That was awesome. I need to get better at these shifts, though, so I can do it more often. It's just it's hard. It's hard. I decided it's time. What's the worst we can do? Let's go ahead and try to maybe dig into that a little bit. So, I think we got new camshafts coming today. Maybe, maybe. We're getting smart with things, guys. Let me show you. We're going full mechanic. So I drew this little diagram with all the bolt holes so I know where each bolt went just because they're all different and I don't want to mix match them. We're taking notes from the big guys. Maybe, maybe we'll actually be able to get this done. I'm hoping so. So we're gonna go ahead and remove the rest of these bolts along here. See if we can pop that off and see what's underneath of it and then do nothing with it for a while because we don't have any other parts. So good times. Bada bing, bada boom. We had almost all the bolts out. We just got that one in the bottom. This is such a good idea. If you're doing anything motor related where you just need to organize your bolts, this is a great idea. And we were moving, so we had boxes laying around. I'm at a little bit of a stopping point because I'm limited by the tools I have. So I have to take off the crank pulley and I need a puller for that, which I don't have. So basically it goes on here, slides into these three holes and we'll just pull this thing off. But good news, AutoZone has one and they're two miles down the road. So I think we're gonna hop in the Mustang, go grab one, cause this is ready to come off. You can see it budging in there. So it's ready. We just need to remove that and then we're good to go. Harmonic balancer, crank pulley, it's all the same, right? Yeah, I mean, I realized, I realized I was, I was saying crank pulley. Give me some credit. It's a pulley. It's on the crank. We got the tool though. Uh, so now we're just gonna use the tool and hopefully that comes off. If I'm being completely honest, that went a lot harder than it should have. Um, I know now, but I didn't know then. 
we got it off. Nothing broke, probably. So, win. It's the moment of truth. See if I can get this thing off uh, without breaking either it or me. We can do it. We got this. Ha <laughs> ha! Ah! We did it. Success. Alrighty, here's what we're dealing with. We got all the timing chain stuff. It's probably gonna be replaced with the Ford Performance timing chain kit. It's a whole kit goes in here. We'll see. I don't know if there's supposed to be slack like that. I don't know if that's something to be worried about or not. This is all gonna get rebuilt anyway. So obviously not the biggest concern. I don't know how much deeper we're gonna dive. Maybe we will take those off. I, I don't, yeah. I don't know, maybe maybe we will. So I gave these a quick little ugga dugga and they're a lot harder to get off than I thought. So we're gonna leave the motor where it is for right now. Uh, next video, I think we're gonna pick up on a little bit, do some research, go about the best way to get those off. For now though, we are gonna leave it just like it is. I'm so excited. Cams, I'm ordering cams like right after this. When we're done, I'm ordering cams. So coming very soon, we can start the build. I'm really excited. I really hope you all enjoyed today's video. Thank you so much for hanging in there. I know it's been really crazy. Hopefully this week though, I'm gonna be able to go back up to school. We can go to our normally scheduled programming, if you will, and we'll be back to normal. But until then, we're gonna keep working on this, working on that. Tomorrow maybe, we're working on the 91. So we're gonna get every project going until we gotta put the Mustang away for a while. But that's coming in the future. So. Until next time, y'all keep crushing it, take it easy, and I'll catch y'all very soon. Oh. <laughs> y'all are still watching. Whoops.